In the heart of the American West lies a land where the horizon stretches as far as the eye can see. The beauty of the Wyoming prairie is dominated by rolling hills dotted with sagebrush and filled with solitude. This is home to one of North America's most iconic big game animals, the pronghorn antelope. It's a place where one feels small against the vastness of the land. The unparalleled eyesight of the pronghorn with its 320 degree vision gives them a panoramic view of the terrain, which means that they can detect the most subtle movement and detail. Hunting pronghorn is a dance of patience and precision where every move counts. Join us for the thrill of the hunt in the heart of America's public lands. Welcome to Wyoming. It's another wonderful morning in the great state of Wyoming, hunting antelope where there's more of those than people and that's why I love it here. So we're gonna go out and I'm gonna do a little bit of spot and stock with my decoy this morning, which I haven't done yet this year. So it's gonna be fun. It's one of my favorite things to do actually is spot and stock hunt antelope. Uh, it's a good morning, it's gonna be awesome. Antelope hunting is all about embracing the laid back rhythm of the open prairies. You will find antelope wandering freely under the endless sky, grazing for food, and traveling to water. Our adventure unfolds with miles of open terrain to glass and explore. It's a thrilling blend of patience, keen observation, and strategic maneuvering throughout the open landscapes. I see an antelope over there. So oh, I see it on the skyline. These trees? No, yeah. I see it. Yeah. We've seen quite a few antelope in here. It's just really trying to catch them when they're on the public side and also in a spot where I can stalk them with my bow. Today I brought a decoy and we've got an antelope spotted. Looks like a decent buck. We're gonna try to identify if he's on public for sure and if he is, come up with a plan. Thank you, on X. He's on public. He's standing there just looking around. So we're waiting for him to either come down into this valley or go over the hill into the next valley. And we'll kind of strategize how I'm gonna try to approach him, put a stock on him. See those four little mountains? There's this top, so he's in here. Let's make a move. All right, let's go. The indomitable spirit of the hunt strikes a symphony of adrenaline and excitement as we weave through the valley, stopping just shy of cresting a rise. The air crackles with the promise of adventure. Every step is a delicate negotiation with the terrain beneath my boots. Time seems to slow to a heartbeat, and each heartbeat is synchronized with the pulse of the wild. As I crest the rise, I spot the antelope, poised in the distance against the backdrop of Wyoming's sagebrush step. The wind is my ally, carrying whispers of strategy as I make my plan to close the gap.
just crossed in front of us, a little over 200 yards. We're gonna drop down now and make our move and try to close the distance on him. Oh, the antelope came up super close. I ranged him at 45, totally shaking. <laughs> and uh, as I tried to draw my bow, they just busted out. So um, it was a good stalk. It was a good try. Now they're now they're long gone. <laughs> Pursue the Wild is brought to you by Ruger and Marlin Firearms. This segment is brought to you by Night Force Optics. Rugged, reliable, repeatable. And on X Hunt, know where you stand. We spotted a really nice buck. He's with three antelope does. They're on public land, at their feeding, and he has been trying to push them down to this creek bottom. So I'm gonna just kind of play it safe tonight. He's a really good buck. He's the best buck I've seen. And, um, just kind of post up down here at this creek bottom. The wind right now is really good. It's um, coming straight down in my face. So I'm in a perfect position to do a stalk. Had a really close encounter with a really great buck last night. Unfortunately, the weeds in front of me kept me from being able to range or, or shoot. He was as close as 30 yards and then at times out to about 75 yards and I just never got a shot on him. Back found him again this morning, trying to creep up and just kind of watch and see where him and his does do. He's not in a good spot to stalk right now, but I just kind of want to hang back see where they go and hopefully um, at some point today they'll get in some terrain or, or in some condition to where I can do another stalk and make another try as a really good buck so I don't want to um, don't want to let this opportunity go. Game over, we got busted. We got 120 yards from that antelope buck and I was trying to make my way around this ridge and another young buck came over right on top of us and busted us pretty good. So I'm just gonna kind of back off and go do something else. We got 100 yards from them, but the wind <laughs> right to them and they freaked out and left. So on to the next.
All right, you guys, antelope season has proven to be unsuccessful for me with a bow. So we're gonna change directions. We're gonna start rifle hunting. Let's go. All right, out at the ranch, I want to confirm zero on my rifle and uh, do a little trajectory validation because obviously antelope hunting, I could end up with some longer shots, meaning, you know, four or 500 yards. Not unrealistic out here. I've got my Ruger American here. This one is chambered in seven PRC. I'm gonna be shooting 175 grain Hornady Precision Hunters. We're just gonna confirm zero on my rifle here at 100, and then we're gonna walk it out to probably 830. I'm not gonna hunt beyond 830. My first shot was just a little bit low, so I adjusted up. My second shot impacted just a little bit higher than I want, so my third shot actually was perfect, um, right in the center, so we're gonna be calling that one good. All right, you guys, I got my Ruger Kestrel 5700. I have manually set this up, so I've already entered in um, all of my data, my muzzle velocity, all of that into this Kestrel. Basically, now I just input um, the yardage I'm gonna shoot, get the target angle, and we can trajectory validate out to distance. So we're confirmed at 100. Now I'm gonna roll out. We're gonna shoot the pig. The pig is at 800 yards, so I'm going literally from 100 yards straight out to 800 yards. I like truing at this distance because it's farther than I'm going to hunt, but it's still far enough to really give, give me a really good solid trajectory validation and make sure that my data that I put into my Kestrel is tracking perfectly. My data says 492, so I'm gonna pop up and dial right to 49. You guys, I feel good, I'm shooting good. I had two impacts at 800. Uh, I don't need to spend a bunch of ammo uh, trajectory validating today, although I do like shooting, it's fun, but um, I've got the confidence I need to go antelope hunting. And uh, my equipment's ready, and it's gonna be a fun season. That was an epic failure. <laughs> Five mule deer does went up the basin that we bumped, and um, we only saw the one buck. And he blew out of there when those does blew. We get to look forward to another beautiful day hunting antelope. We relocated um, a herd of antelope. I'm pretty sure it's the same herd that we've been trying to kind of get on. Close the distance on this buck and make it happen today. And Dropped him. Good shot. As soon as he paused long enough for me to settle my crosshair. Make sure my reticle is on a perfect. That's awesome. This is my first year as a Wyoming resident and uh, it's very interesting pronghorn antelope are the reason that I moved here. Uh, I fell in love with this country hunting pronghorn a couple years ago and, and here I am today, two years later, almost to the day and I'm hunting this beautiful animal as a resident. I've had such an incredible hunting season, um, hunting with a bow, spot and stalk. Yeah, so many close calls this year and just a ton of fun. And I just feel so blessed that uh, I get to call Wyoming home and, 
and have the opportunity every year to come out here in the plains and, and hunt these beautiful uh, species of antelope. We're all loaded up and ready to go. We're getting a little rain, but uh, held out for most of the time, so that's nice. Pursue the Wild is brought to you by Ruger and Marlin Firearms. This segment is brought to you by Safari Club International, First for hunters, Tinks, America's number one buck lure, and Dead Down Wind. Real science, real results. We're out here looking for an antelope for Yogi. He's got a different unit tag than I had, and um, it's really big, open, barren ground surrounded by these really cool, kind of mountainous formations. It's really pretty country. We've seen a lot of antelope so far. Everything that we've seen buckwise has been very, very young. So we're just gonna spend a lot of time today on the glass, put on some miles, and see if we can find him an antelope buck. There's quite a few herds down in this big valley. Um, there was a couple antelope that came, uh, that looked like they were coming up. There's a water trough down in here that they might be headed for. So we're gonna try to sneak over this hump and get a better look at them and make a plan. You know, his ears are by his cutters. He's not tall or anything. He lays out nice. The does kind of spotted us coming over the top a little bit so they kind of moved off and he's trailing them. We're gonna let them go. There's, there's antelope everywhere, like they're freaking out. There's two younger bucks down there trailing that group of does. So I don't know if there's a bigger one in there still. <clears throat> Could see how they keep their distance. The one that's on the ridge right there, that's really narrow. I think that does look like a good buck. He was pretty heavy. We marked on a waypoint in Onyx where we think that antelope bedded. Uh, we got a little stretch of private here. We got to kind of work around. We don't want to push him onto that. He's actually within range right now, um, but we're going to work our way closer. Uh, the closer always the better with these things. So we're going to make a move. We're excited. Cool. <laughs> yeah, he did not move. I just had a lane here. Like, I could see his head and I knew right. if he was getting up, I would I would get a shot. So. Yeah. That was good. Your wife was stressed. I'm like, he needs the shooting sticks. Should I go get the shooting she sticks? Was. There was a lot of Maybe I should on. go get, get, maybe I need to go get them. Well, that's a cool bug. 
Man, he's got some mass. Look at that. Yeah, and that cutter is pointing out. That is neat. Oh, he's a he's a beautiful buck, eh? Yeah. He, his mass grew on me when we woke up on him. He is so heavy. Yeah. Like all the way up here. And big cutters. A good day. Know. Yeah, it's awesome. In uh, the cowboy state. Here That's we go. Right. Thank you for watching this episode of Pursue the Wild. Jump behind the scenes with us for our podcast, Wild and Uncut, or tune into our digital lifestyle show, Our Wild Life. You can stream everything on my website, pursuethewild.com, and be sure to follow me on social media, at Christy Titus.